Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're installing the hinge door step on our 2010 Jeep JK Wrangler. Now these will fit like a 2007 two door, four door, the 2012 JKs. They might be slightly different for the JL so do your research before buying them. They are really cheap. Um, I only got a singular one because I keep a shovel and the recovery tracks on the other side where I just got the one for the passenger side to help me put the paddleboard up on the roof. Uh, normally I just stand on the tire and kind of reach across but it's a pain in the ass trying to get that last strap or that first strap up the top there. Or if you're a bit shorter um, it'll definitely help you out. I'm 5 foot 8 and I just struggle trying to reach across the paddleboard to get, get that last strap. So the, with the height of these um, they sit on your door hinges like so and it comes in line or just a little bit higher actually than what your wheel is. So it's going to give you a lot more leverage, help you put that gear, that tent, whatever, paddleboard, whatever car parts on that roof rack it's really going to help you out so really cheap uh, for one I think it was about $52 I will leave a link in the description down below for the one I bought um, you can go with more expensive brands you can go with two four whatever you kind of want um, obviously they're going to be more expensive so $52 for one I think they're about $87 for two but I just need the one um, and they're made really well mine's got the cool little star on it which will look cool against the white and on the bottom you can use that as a bowl opener as well. Some say they do have a bowl opener, opener on it. Um, and on the back, I really like it. It's actually got a padded finish on the back. So it's not going to scrape against the paint, um, damage the paint. So all you'll need is a T45 Torx bit um, and a spanner to undo the four bolts on your door hinges there. Now you're probably thinking, won't the door fall off or drop down when I undo those bolts? Yes, um, and I've seen a few people do a few different things. Some people uh, use duct tape and actually attach it to the uh, body of the car to make sure it doesn't fall down. You can do that as well, but just for now we're going to be using some cardboard just to make like a little wedge underneath that door so it doesn't drop down. I've seen people in, a, in other videos undo those, put your um, step on and then try and lift it up and unline it. Uh, this will help. You might use a little bit more cardboard so it doesn't drop down so far. Make it a little bit easier for yourself. So, T45 Torx bit, undo those two four nuts there. Um, and if you do strip some paint off it, um, just take your time. My ones were really tight, so I just took it nice and easy. Make sure you're not stripping those threads inside that. It'd be a pain in the ass to get off. Um, if you do strip the paint, maybe just touch up a bit of paint just so it doesn't rust. So let's undo those, take those off, put our wedge under so the door doesn't drop down. Get these door hinges on. Let me know if you guys and let me know in the comments if you guys are running these and what brand you guys are using and if they're coming in handy. Um, and to drop down this step, all you got to do is loosen that little tab off there, and that drops down. And that's actually ridge as well. Um, and I've, I'm not sure what weight this can support. Obviously, it can support my weight. I'm pretty skinny, um, but it just drops down. Nice firm movement there. Um, it's nice and well powder coated in a matte black finish. Pretty easy. Um, and to put that away, simple as. Now other ones on the market do come with other hardware, just for using the original G ones which is fine. So you can see that little wedge there with the cardboard worked perfectly. I think I might have just dropped down a little bit. As you can see, uh, you can see the paint come out a little bit, but you can just open and close your door, make sure all the seals and stuff are lined up properly.
So that's pretty much it for today guys, if you like this install, please like this video. If you like these, I'll leave a link down in the description, it's the one I bought off eBay. Pretty cheap, but really handy as well, gets you up, um, gives you more um, access to the top roof racks or cargo area. But really cheap, really handy, and they look pretty cool as well. Nice little star decal down the bottom. But if you like this video, smash that like button, if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well. Um, we've got some parts sitting up for the Jurassic Jeep build, which will look pretty cool with that as well, I'm really excited about that. We've got some other parts turning up as well, so I can't wait to make those videos for you guys. Um, and we've got Go Topless Day coming up in May and some other trips as well, book which I'm really excited about. Um, so if you guys want to stay up to date with that, smash that subscribe button as I said before. But thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.